Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another video and for today's video guys, we've got a lot of news about Roblox computer related stuff. I don't know, it's kind of weird. We've got some good news and we also have some bad news as well. I guess we're going to start off the video with the bad news because it's kind of interesting. We'll get onto the worst news first. So apparently guys, Roblox is not working on a ton of people's computers, all types of devices, right? Laptops, surfaces like Android gaming devices, things like that, all because of the type of CPU that these devices use. Now at first guys I didn't really think this was so bad but I looked into it a bit more and yeah it just turns out Roblox is now unplayable on like a ton of stuff and the trouble is we always just assume that Roblox is like a really easy game to run so yeah let me show you what I'm talking about. A week ago I got a message on Discord from this guy who said hey so recently Roblox added a new update improving their anti-cheat which caused users with ARM processors on their computers or Surface laptops not to work. I'm not sure if this was a mistake but a lot of people are unable to play Roblox because of this. Now I did quickly Google this because sometimes when people ask me questions I can just Google it and find like an answer or whatever. I did find this thing about some old uh, dev forum post about this guy playing Roblox on Windows 11 and he had an ARM CPU but what he did right because it wouldn't work via the normal Roblox installer he had to download Roblox via an APK which is an Android application and I'm not gonna lie playing Roblox like via the Android version on your PC instead of a mobile phone it it kind of sucks. Some games are going to be restricted, but you know, it is what it is. You can still play a lot of stuff. But the thing is, guys, Roblox even patched this. I don't even think you can still play the Android version of Roblox on some of these computers. And he provided me with some more information. Apparently, this mainly came into effect a couple of weeks ago on the 22nd of January. And so many people which have these ARM CPUs on their devices, like ARM64 and stuff like that, even if they're running Windows 11, they can't play Roblox. Like literally, it just doesn't start up. It gives them an error or in some instances they can't even install it so as you probably can tell this is not good and i haven't seen anybody else speaking about this yet i tried googling it to find like a fix or something because i'm not gonna lie guys when i buy like a computer or a device i don't normally choose stuff which has like an arm cpu i normally only go for intel sometimes amd if i'm getting like a laptop or something but you can see this poor guy aiden uh, this was on january so yeah a couple of weeks ago he said computer processor not up to date or not compatible so that's the thing. He tried to install Roblox. I know he tried to install it off the uh, Windows App Store, which is not really that good. I'd rather just use the web browser version, but you know, it is what it is. So the error he got, this product isn't compatible with your PC's processor. He said he found it weird because he was using Roblox fine yesterday, ever since he got his computer, because you know, it's a brand new computer. His CPU is the Snapdragon X Plus X1. You get the idea. I'm not going to read the full name. So that's so sad. So many players are probably so confused about why they can't play Roblox anymore anymore. No, I did Google this CPU and it's not great. It's something I would like on my phone, but you know, not really my computer, but I understand this guy's parents probably bought him a laptop for school or something. And of course, if you get a new laptop, you're going to want to play Roblox on it. Like who wouldn't? I saw this video from four months ago because um, yeah, the CPU is not old at all. It was only made last year, late last year, right? This guy was playing GTA, The Witcher, like 50 FPS. So there is no reason why the CPU should not be able to run Roblox. Like, it should be able to run it perfectly fine. You know, most games. But yeah, this is literally a new thing. Some CPUs just don't support Roblox anymore. If you guys want to know if you're affected, I mean, to be honest, you'd probably know already, but I'll link the Wikipedia page of the ARM processors. So if you're running something from like 1989, because yeah, ARM processors have been a thing for ages. There's loads on here though. Most of these I don't really recognize the name of. I have a feeling quite a few of these are probably used in like weird Android handhelds, Raspberry Pis, Micro. Microsoft surfaces, those sort of devices. Eventually though, you will come across like, uh, you know, Snapdragon by Cruelcom. And obviously they're very popular. A lot of people know what they are. Looks like some of these are used in uh, Apple products as well. Yeah, it's just a shame to see really. Roblox unsupported on like a ton of laptops. Oh yeah, look at that. If you guys are running the ARM one from 1985, yeah, I'm sorry to say you can't play Roblox on it. That's really sad actually. I love that CPU. Being serious though, yeah, it's kind of sad. Imagine if your parents get you like a new laptop for school or something. So you can install like Microsoft Office. And then you're like, oh yeah, I can get Roblox as well. And then you install it and then you just get the error. Your CPU is not compatible. Damn, that would suck so bad. There you go. More people complaining about it from 10 days ago. And there is the error. Roblox encountered an unexpected error. Click OK to create support files. I mean, yeah, that's not going to do anything. So this guy was using, yep, there you go. ARMS-based processors. Wow, that sucks. And yeah, he's got a Snapdragon as well. Not even a bad CPU. Not bad at all. And um, let's have a look at this. This product isn't compatible with your PC's 
Series processor, Architecture X64. Oh yeah, I guess you've got to have that. As the guy was saying, apparently it's something to do with their anti-cheat. I mean, I guess that makes sense. The only reply that confused me is this one from Crazy Blocks. I mean, he was telling people to return their computers, which is fair enough. For some odd reason though, he said, please swap your laptop for an x86 Windows laptop. Bro, what? x86? That's like ancient. That's 32 bit. Good luck trying to run Roblox on that. Maybe Crazy Blocks didn't notice, but it said, yeah, they required architecture x64. Yeah, that's a shame though. So uh, if your parents are going to buy you a new laptop for school or something, make sure they just get one with like an Intel CPU and you'll be fine. Now, unfortunately, guys, that's not the only news of Roblox going wrong on people's computers, because if you guys are encountering this error where it's a Windows Explorer error and it says Roblox crashed, try performing a Windows clean boot. Well, pretty much what this means is you installed the latest Windows 11 updates and it sucks. Yep, the new version of Windows 11 is called Windows 11 version 24H2. You guys can find out if you installed this. If you go to your settings, then Windows update. If you go into update history, it should say what you're on. So you can see for me, the last one I installed was last year, at the start of last year. Yeah, I always forget to update my computer, but I installed Windows 11 version 23H2, which is fine. If you're running this, you're okay. If you're on 24 though, you're gonna notice Roblox crashing a lot. And for some players, like apparently they can't even load up games, like they will load it up and it just won't work. It say like account launched on different device or it just keep on crashing like constantly. And I actually know this because I've got a computer which has the new update and it just sucks. I don't even use it for playing Roblox because it just crashes like all the time. So I actually saw this post on the dev forum as well from this guy Wonderwork Zach. And he was saying he got a brand new Windows 11 PC, an Origin PC, so they're expensive. And when he went to install Roblox, he just can't use it. And that's because of this new Windows 11 update. I just hate computers, guys. They're so annoying to deal with. This guy as well, Raven. Oh yeah, look, see what I was saying? He's on 24H2, Windows 11 Home as well. Oh, that's painful. Just change it to Pro. But again, so many people which are on Windows version 24H2 are just saying they can't play Roblox anymore. It just crashes, doesn't load up. The good news is five days ago, um, a Roblox staff member did reply and apparently they're trying to get it fixed and sorted out or something. I feel like this is more of like a Microsoft Windows issue than Roblox though. I don't know how they're going to fix it. It's actually such a shame these bugs are happening as well because back in December, we had like the really great updates about Roblox allocating like a hundred more megabyte for every player in the game, which is crazy. Roblox allocates so much RAM to everybody. So again, this was like perfect for old computers and people with like Snapdragon CPUs and stuff, but now it just doesn't even work. We had the occlusion culling stuff as well, where far away objects weren't rendered in. So again, people on CPUs like Snapdragons, people on computers that weren't the best could run Roblox just so smoothly. But now if your CPU is not the right one, if it's an ARM CPU, if you're on the new Windows 11 update, well, even though Roblox released these really nice updates, you're just not going to have a nice experience. It's a shame, you know. But that's technology for you. I feel like we're in like a really bad uh, technology state at the moment, if you know what I mean. I know we've got AI, but people find that cringe, right? But yeah, everything just seems to be going wrong and breaking with updates. Let's end today's video with some positive news anyway, because Roblox updated and sorted out their FPS menu. So now if you're in a Roblox game and you want to see what your FPS is, you can do Shift F5 on your keyboard and it looks better than ever before. It's really clean, actually. I like the font they've gone for, because if you guys saw the previous FPS menu, it was readable, but it just looked a bit messy and it was kind of hard to like see everything on there. It just looked a bit dumb but the new version very clean and professional i like it